All right, you guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and get rolling. So I want to introduce ourselves first. I want you guys to know who we are, what we do, and kind of, you know, how long we've been doing it. So I want you guys to know my name is Jamal English. I've been in this business for just under a decade. I really feel like the life insurance business is something that you know, people have, you know, either a good experience with or not a good experience with. For me, I came up in the conventional model. I came in as a captive agent. I joined a, a common carrier, New York Life. They got me. They got me. I don't know how they got me, but they got me. And when they got me, they showed me this business in a way that I didn't really think insurance really operated as. But what I learned very quickly in that business model was the fact that I had very little control over the variables within my business. They worked a warm market model. So it was the people that you connected with at events or in your warm market that you were able to connect and, and really kind of sell. And it was, a, it was a different type of process. Not to say that the process doesn't work, because don't get me wrong, there's a ton of very successful business people doing that that business model. But for me, it just, it wasn't the best thing that I personally thought was really going to take me where I wanted to go. I wanted to build generational wealth. I didn't want all my income to be dependent on me. And then I met a mentor that really kind of, you know, taught me the brokerage world, showed me some of the nuances that I didn't know were out there previously. And this is kind of where I found out that there is scalability within the insurance space and you don't have to have a lot of money to be a part of it. And this is the part where I want to be able to share that knowledge with you guys. I want you guys to, to understand that you're learning from actual practitioners. I mean, if you look to the right of my picture, you can see all of my production from my last month. These are actual deposit notifications from the bank. This is money that actually hit my account. I'm telling you guys, I wrote this business. This is business that I know I can teach you guys how to sell yourself. Um, this was my last month of production when I was actually in the field. And then if you look to the right, or excuse me, to the left of Rita, you will see his annual production numbers from his last year in the field as well. So I want you guys to know that you're actually learning from real practitioner, practitioners of this craft, and that we're going to make sure that we give you guys all the nuggets that are typically left in the dark and unknown for a lot of people. So Rita, I mean, just talk about a little bit of, of your background, your history, and kind of what really kind of got you to where you're at today. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, as, as you can see, guys, you know, uh, the, the numbers are there. So the sales are there. So we've been uh, agents just like you guys. You know, I, I remember me, I, I was in the fitness and wellness program all my life. And, uh, you know, I got into the, uh, the final expense business, you know, because one of my friends said, hey, you are great at it. You, you are a people person. You like to work with people. You like to help people. I think you can do great. And I, I asked him, like, well, how much money should I make or can I make? And uh, back then I was a personal trainer. He said, well, you can make as much as you want. I'm like, yeah, but how much? He said, he said you know, you can make as much as you want. I said, show me your bank account. He said, well, I have $400,000 cash in my bank account. I'm like, you do? He said, yes. I said, show me your bank account right now. If you have $400,000 cash, I will sign up tomorrow. <laughs> That's what happened. He showed me his bank account. He had over $400,000 cash. <laughs> Next day, I'm like, where is the license? What should I do? <laughs> and, you know, and, you know, e even on education, right? My background, I don't have, you know, master's. And of course, we have bachelor's degrees. But I always tell people I have a PhD, which means poor hungry and driven which means you know i you know i i i, I want to have a platform i want to learn from it i want to advance myself i want to give it all and i want to be successful as you can see you know writing 231 thousand dollars a year you know that's me working nine months a year and as god is, is my witness is the truth so we've been there if you're struggling the last thing i want when i'm struggling is to want someone to come and show me look how am i not struggling that doesn't help me this presentation is about us telling you guys, we were there. Like, you know, we were struggling at the beginning. We were having issues. We were having problems. But once we are done with this presentation, you'll understand why our company is just different. It's just unique. It's very different. And once you see this, you know, the presentation as we go, you will know that we are agents just like you guys. You know, we put things together on our own and it's working perfectly right now. Thank you, Jamal.
I mean, to, to echo what you just said, Rita, I mean, everything that we have put together has been with the agent in mind first, because everything that we have created was built for what we wish we would have had when we were coming up and we, we were starting off. That's because, true. you know, there's just so much stuff that isn't told to you that you need to know that I wish, you know, we all were able to hear early. If any of you guys feel like that, go ahead and and uh, post in the chat right now that says, I do. I know what it feels like to get started and, and not know what to do. If that's yeah. you, go ahead and let us know that. Yeah, we got your back. We definitely got your back. You know, we understand your pain. We understand the problems. We're going to go through this presentation, show you guys, you know, not only who we are, because who we are means nothing. What, what means is who you are and what you need and how we can work with, with you guys and we can make it work. So um, go ahead, Jamal. I don't want to take your thunder as I always do. 